Hey, welcome to the weekend, everybody. It's a Flame Tech Football Friday on the RP Show. And we are North America wide on the Game Plus TV network. That's in all 10 provinces across Canada and 31 states. Working on more across the United States of America. But they really love these Flame Tech Football Fridays there where we talk NFL, CFL, you name it. Flame Tech is locally owned and operated industry leaders in commercial and industrial combustion technology, and they are big uh, supporters of ours. Mike Abumeshrik is in studio, 10-year Canadian Football League veteran. There you go. Western Mustangs Hall of Famer, I might add. And he's from Toronto. That should make all the Eastern people love you even more, I would think. It's been a while. I feel like I've got to reintroduce you to everybody. Yeah. He yeah, grew up a five-minute bike ride from Skydome. Am I right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Metal Shingle guy writes in and says, good to hear Abu again. Everybody's happy to see him. Thank you. But you not mean, as happy as I am to see him. You'll be sick of me soon enough if I'm back again. And that's true, too. From the 587, good morning, Rod and Moose and Mike. It's Mike from Edmonton here. Just wondering, did you guys watch the guy from China win gold in table tennis? His winning streak is unreal. Yes. And I didn't. I watched it by accident. I flipped on ESPN, and that's what was on. Did you see it? I, I, I didn't, but I absolutely love the Olympics. Like, I love diving at the Olympics. I love... Right. I love... Uh, 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 I, I didn't know men played field hockey, which was I, think, I, think, I thought was cool. What are you saying? I don't know what I'm saying. That's, I just, I thought that's it was my cool. imitation of you. I'm just saying it was, you know, it was... It was um, yeah, watching the so watching <laughs> I the rattled soccer. you. You should see your eyes right now. Watching the, just seeing these, seeing these. You know what the Olympics reminds me of? Just us sitting around. When we, you know, forty yes. years, forty years ago, we're just sitting around. You know, our parents kicked us out into the backyard. We're like, what do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? Let's go jump off that rock into the water and see who can dive the best. Okay, and then let's have <laughs> a race. <laughs> then let's, you know, let's get on our bikes and race around and see who can. You love that stuff, don't you? you the know? history of that stuff. Well, it's just the, just, just the, uh, I, got a, I got a 12-year-old son, so, I mean, my life is an Olympics. Hey, Dad, let's see who can eat our cereal the fastest. Let's see, <laughs> let's see who can pee faster. You know, like, let's well, see, me and him were playing uh, badminton against each other. He doesn't stop. He does, he is a, you know what? Like, uh, it was funny. West Cates were over the other day, and, the, and, and Tyler and Luke were talking talking about it and he goes you guys talking about little abu he goes that kid's way too aggressive <laughs> way too competitive like uh it's a good thing though uh, yeah yeah it's it's fun it's fun and it, it's awesome to be a dad trust me we're gonna get around to football in a second but um the olympics don't come around f you know f every day every two years obviously there is breaking news today the toronto blue jays have acquired right-handed starting pitcher Jose Barrios from the Minnesota Twins for two prospects, including Austin Martin, the Blue Jays' first-round pick infielder last year. And uh, what's the hyphenated name? The other guy, the other prospect? Abu Meshach. Simeon Wood Richardson, right. So they're gone. The Blue Jays are somewhat pushing their chips into the middle of the table here. So that's the breaking news today. Hang on one second, Boo. I'm not done. Uh, nor are you. I get that. Um, Joe Lazito is watching from Long Island. And he says, I nominate Abu to take over Frenzy's role on Football Fridays. Always entertaining. Do you want to come in every, every Friday? I'm not taking Let's over anybody's role. I'd like to get in. Well, a, Frenzy's retired, so. Well, do you think we could, like, wrestle or something? Like, in the yes. spirit of the Olympics? We go, All right, we're going to have a wrestling go. match, and the winner is now on Fridays. Let's grapple. How about that? Um, Let's I'd grapple. Be, I'd be down Like with the it. old days. <laughs> uh, from James and Board in Manitoba. Good vibes on this Football Friday. I can't wait for next Friday. Celebrating a bomber win. Woo! The trash talking started. It started, and that's fine. Yeah. His, here's the, he and I go back and forth on social issues. And here's one for you. Everybody's asking the Hamilton Tiger Cats how they feel that the Winnipeg Blue Bombers are going to unveil their Grey Cup banner in the home opener next Thursday night when Hamilton's there. It's like it's, they're going to rub it in your face. They beat you in that Great Cup game. And, and I'm like, why would you ask such a stupid question? Every year that I can remember in the CFL, the week one game, first game is a rematch of the Great Cup, right? So every, it is. Trust me, it is. Then they should unveil their banner. At every, that game. It happens every year then. Yes. Not always in the venue. For instance, 
2009, 13th uh, man. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Riders lost to the Alouettes in Calgary, and the first game the next year was in Regina, Montreal at Saskatchewan. We didn't have a banner to unveil. Spoiler alert, I, I, but you know I, what I mean. I, I blame the, the, Scheduler? the, the schedule makers. Yeah, just make that a, 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 a an Put it in Hamilton. Yeah, that's easy. Yeah. Or yeah, keep it exactly the way it is. Have Hamilton at Winnipeg in a Grey Cup rematch and let them unveil their banner. Like, who cares? Suck it up. To the credit of the Hamilton Tiger Cats, none of them have complained about this. It's people that are getting worked up saying, this That's isn't it. very classy to drop the banner right in front of the guys you kicked their ass in the Grey Cup. <laughs> I, I don't have a problem with it. Do you? Well, no. You I do? Don't, not, not, not even a little bit. That's what you do. You win a championship, <laughs> you get to put up a free banner. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know... Um, um, you don't want to give bulletin board material. And I, you know, I w before we started talking about this, I was thinking, I don't think Calgary or Winnipeg is going to lose, except to each other this year. Serious. Hamilton might come out and be like, oh, you're going to, you, oh, you're going to unveil our banner, are you? Well, yeah. if you want to use that as motivation, if you're the Ticats, I don't have a problem with that either. But Winnipeg and the CFL aren't doing anything wrong by unveiling no, their not. banner against the Ticats in week one. N n not, not at all. And, um, can we talk about Sean Lemon for a second? Sean Lemon cut by the Edmonton Elks yesterday, the two-time Grey Cup champion. And am I correct in saying a premier pass rusher in the Canadian Football League? There's no doubt. Yeah. So I, what do you think about the Lemonator getting squeezed I, I, out of Edmonton? I, I feel like he is um, maybe the perfect example of, of how I feel the season's going to go. So we haven't seen anybody play football two years ago. I just looked up. Lem Lemon's going to be 32. He's 32. Maybe going to be 33. Uh, he's 32. Two years ago, he was a big name player at 30 years old. Two years later, he's 32. That is a big two-year difference in the life of a, of a professional athlete, in the life of a defensive lineman. Now, what I do know about Sean, Lem Sean, uh, Sean Lemon and, and pass rushers is they play on the pass downs. Now, do you know what I just said, didn't say? Means they don't pay on, play too much on the rundowns, and I suspect that might have something to do with Sean Lemon being released. You know, uh, pass rushers. I'm not saying they take time off, but they jack it up for certain plays. Um, I, I, from what I hear, there's 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 the younger guy, um, what younger and cheaper, defensive end. Taken as take, take you know, I, I don't know what there, his name there is. There always is. There's always is. There's always a guy that's younger and cheaper. Always. Do you think this is a money thing? <clears throat> Um, it, it's always a money thing, Rod. It's always follow money. the money. He says. Follow the money, but I, I think that's we're going to see a lot. And 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 and, and a, a, a a listener kind of talked about it earlier. We are not going to know who the players of the league are until halfway through the season. Well, it's kind of like that usually in the league. Uh, you know, there's one or two guys per team that comes up and be like, oh wow, they really made a difference. I think there's going to be four or five guys per team. Why? Because. Um, Again, the old dogs are two years older, and two years is a long time when you in in in, in Thank pro you for sports the at thirty. Sobering commentary today. I appreciate that. So, and by the way, people are writing in. Aaron Beach says, "I'd love to see that wrestling match live." Were you challenging me or John Lynch to a wrestling match this time? Yeah. John Lynch. Oh, I thought you were challenging that. me. Oh no, no, I've been because I'm in. If you want to, I've been wanting. To, I want. To, I've been wanting a piece of frenzy for over a decade now. Troy Durrell. spicy, <laughs> spicy. Troy, he can't. He, if you want to hear the uh, sound effects, put your headphones on. Uh, Troy Durrell says any Tie Cats fan who complains about it is just looking to do that. Complain. They beat us fair and square and deserve to raise their banner. Literally, I don't see anybody from Hamilton getting upset about this. This is just media trying to stir it up. Um, Tacona Pauly dropped an F-bomb here, and he's like, here it is. We only had to wait 30 years and then a pandemic for two years. Like, come on, hmm. crybabies. He's right. Let them drop the damn banner and quit whining. Where's it coming from? Uh, Mandy and Edmonton says, must be a great team and great players if you're cutting Sean Lemon. But That's it's what also, I would say. It's also a new regime and a new attitude. And Sean's got a huge personality. And if it doesn't match, it doesn't. Might not be a cultural fit. You don't need a reason to cut a guy. You, get a, you guys, guys get cut because they, you know, they have brown eyes. You, know? you don't need a reason <laughs> right. to get cut. Football is the only sport where contracts aren't guaranteed. So How brutal they, is they, that? They bring you in Tuesday at noon and they cut you at Tuesday at 2. From C. Walker, if you don't like it, you should have beaten us. Boom. 
Nelson Hakowicz, our VP of Simmons, writes in, how many returnees are there on Hamilton that would even care? Uh, I don't know. Most of them. Both quarterbacks, Brandon Banks, uh, Jalen Acklin, almost the entire offensive line, save for Mike Filer. Uh, like That's a, a lot. That's huge, though. Hey? Filer's one of the better players. The, in the starting league. center, yeah. Yeah, he's... Well, let's go down center? that Who's... road. Let's go down that Who's road. How about your boy, Blue? You never played with him, did you? But you know him well. No, we flipped. When I left, he came here. Brennan Labatt. Uh, when I left Winnipeg, he was drafted there. And then when I left here, he came here. Um, we have a thing here. But it, I hear it's 11 11. S- s- someone told me that he's uh, thinner than I am. I don't know. I, don't, I find that hard to believe. <laughs> so do I. Uh, Are you body shaming him? Yeah, but not, I'm not calling him skinny. <laughs> the other one. How do you feel about players opting out in the Canadian Football League this year? Man, Rod, I, I don't know how guys are coming back and playing. Like, you know, if you're 30 years old, you know, maybe you're married, you have kids, or not married and have kids, you, you got to grow up. I mean, football is an awesome game to play, but at some point, and it's a CFL, it's not millions of the NFL. At some point, you got to be like, all right, you know what, I'm going to start working. I got, I've got to start work. My baby needs to eat. My, I, I don't, I, I'd like to drive a car and have shoes. <laughs> you know, I, I'm surprised that guys, are, that guys are, are, are coming back because it is so hard. We could go on a whole other show. It's so hard to get on from football. Like I told you, I was 33, and I had to figure out how to sit at a desk because I'd never done it before. As easy as it sounds, it's impossible. For Do you remember people. the conversation you and I had? I don't know if we've ever talked about it on this show. Abu and I were good friends, believe it or not, when he played for the Rough Riders. You said to me when you were out in the real world after football, you said, this is weird. In football, we work all week to a game, and then we start working again for the next game. It takes a week, and you're like, the real world, we're doing it every day. The game never ends. You don't get a you don't get evaluated. There's no way right. to know if you're doing good or bad. And you know, if you lose a game, oh well, now you get to start again next week. Whereas life is just uh, over. If I don't finish my paperwork today, over. I got to do it tomorrow. And if I don't do it Friday, <laughs> I got to do it Monday. <laughs> yes. You know, uh, uh, General Immelrith, watching on YouTube, says the CFL is like the AHL of the NFL. Oh, my God, don't. We've already had enough holy wars today in jihads over vaccinations. No, don't call the CFL a minor league. No, the, C, the, the reason why. Not doing that today. The, the only reason I think the CFL has stuck around and the XFL and all those other AFLs and ABC leagues are gone is because it's different. It's not the same. We're, you're not seeing um, B-rate NFL players. You're seeing Weston Dressler. You're seeing Doug Flutie. You're seeing guys that don't fit that NFL game. You're seeing Milt Stiegel, who couldn't crack it a couple of times. It's Charles Roberts. Damn. G. Roy Simon. I mean, it goes on and on and on. You know. Um, Corey Shates was just talking about him the other day. Um, d- defense line. It's a different, it's a different, uh, different you know, no, nose tackle. There's no 400 pound players in the CFL. You know, um, uh, it, it, it's a different game, and that's a success. And, and small town kind of Canada uh, <laughs> players getting the vibe and all that kind of stuff. It's very unique. It's not the CFL. Wayne but, in Victoria right. writes that he says, I vote for Abu to be the regular football Friday guest. We found it. That was easy. Can somebody? How Darren, about that? Darren is watching the show on Game Plus TV in his office and Colin Cowherd live on YouTube at the same time. Moose. If you're watching, can you grab Abu a Rockstar of the Day shirt from uh, the storage facility? Ooh. Yeah. We got new shirts, by the way. You've, ha- you've had the hat, but we've got shirts now. Can you grab one, Moose, uh, and medium. throw it on the set? Can I get a medium? Aaron Beach says, wow, a Charles Roberts reference. Love it. There's not enough Do you think Charles there's Roberts. NFL stars that are <sighs> puffing darts before games like Charles Roberts? You know what? I think there's um, not a lot, but yeah, I think there's people that smoke. In the NFL? Charles would go out at halftime and smoke darts with the fans. <laughs> I was thinking the greatest thanks. Greatest, double X, Darren. Double X. Greatest thing. Are you ever. a single X now or double X? I'm I'm a large. Okay. Come on. Kidding. Yeah, yeah. What do you tip in the Toledo's at these days? I don't. Don't know. ask. I me. don't have a scale. I don't know. Right. Just like Luke. Uh-oh. From Dominic D, <laughs> he says you guys are better than Cowherd. Thank you, and I agree. 
From General Imlareth again, he says, don't worry, Rod, LOL. I don't hate the CFL. I grew up going to Stamps games in McMahon. I loved it. I don't know. It just you, If you're a Calgary guy and you're a CFL person, you understand people. D Darren, you can throw it out. Bring it out. Did you lose weight around your head, too? Is that a medium hat? That's all we got. Thank, it's all we got. Because yeah. that barely fits that cranium. It looks good, though. Looks really good. And can you hold the shirt up? Yeah. Put on the hat and hold up the shirt. How about that? Spicy. Oh, wow. uh, and Bob's your uncle. This is Bob's great. Bob's your uncle. <laughs> Spicy. <laughs> How about that? Look hey. at that. You look like a Saskatchewan farmer. What? Oh, wait, hang on a second. <laughs> well, you kind of are. Oh. There you go. One, look God. at you. Now you look like a trucker. <laughs> what? A or a NASCAR fan. Hey. Sure, I don't look like a champion wearing this Manchester City jersey, but anyway. Are they the champs? I didn't know. Is that new? Yeah. This You're so a... disappointed in me and my lack of knowledge of <laughs> soccer, but well, I was, you, you know, know I, nothing about lacrosse. You know, I try and sneak a little soccer in every, like Canada losing 2-1 versus Mexico. The only team to score against Mexico in the last 11 games. But I'm just Thank saying. you for mentioning that. Canada soccer. Giddy up. Okay. Um, where is it here? Uh, from Dominic D. He looks like he's on the RP tour. He is. <laughs> I want to see photos of you in that. Abu, any parting words? Uh, looks like you're locked in every Friday. No, I want to say donate kidneys and stuff like that. How about you being a big deal organ, in Winnipeg, eh? Organ donation is important. That's the only thing I wanted to get off my chest today, and I did a horrible job of it. <laughs> you got a minute. He donated... A kidney to his dad. Can you wrap that up in a minute? I donated a kidney to my dad. Easiest, you know, I got 10 weeks off of work. Just got to chill out and relax. Best thing I ever did. Uh, sa saving a life, literally easy. One of the easiest things I ever did. Do it. It's, it, it, it's worth it. Um, if you have the opportunity to save a loved one's life, go ahead and do it, please. Um, and if you don't, go, do the donor cards. You can save post-mortem. After you're dead, you can save 75 people's lives. You, just with you and your tissue, 75 people. Wow. And people need heart. Think about people that you love right now that need, need a liver, need a kidney, need blood, need something. You've got it. If you were in grade eight and you, and you had an extra pencil, you'd give it to someone that didn't have a pencil. You've got all the stuff and you don't need them. Please. Fill out please. your donor cards. Fill out your donor cards. And you know what I did today? I'm waiting for the sticker to go on my health card. I just wrote in Sharpie, donor, because I don't know what the percentage is, but it's a, a, a well over 75%. They forget. People die. No one forgets about organ right. donation, and everything Fill goes into the garbage. And 75 people die for no reason. There's our rock star of the day. Great to see you, boo. Have a great long weekend. Lovely. I'm there you go. Me. Rock star of the day for rock star supply chain solutions. <laughs> Look at that. He's leaving here like uh, he just won at the fair. <laughs> Justin Dunk in next from Three Down Nation. It's a Flame Tech Football Friday on the Game Plus TV network, YouTube, and Facebook live streaming and 24 hour sports radio for Suds Full Service Car Wash at rodpeterson.com. You're watching Rod Peterson on demand. For more of the Rod Peterson Show, visit rodpeterson.com or follow Rod Peterson on social media.